Hey guys, we have a calculus problem here, the integral of x squared ln x dx. We're gonna solve this using integration by parts. So it's saying the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So we need to find u, du, v, and dv. This stuff on the left side of the equal sign is our original integral. So we need to find a u and a dv somewhere inside here. So for the u, we're gonna do ln x, and for the dv, we're gonna do x squared dx. And now we've built out our left-hand side. This integral of u dv is the integral x squared ln x dx. And then to fill out the rest of this, we need to find v and du. So du is the derivative of u, and the derivative of ln of x is one over x dx. And then to find v, we need to take the antiderivative. Now that's gonna be power rule, so we're gonna add one to the two and then divide by that number. So two plus one is three, and then we're gonna divide by three. And now we have everything we need to go to our next step to fill this out. So the u is gonna be ln x, v is gonna be x cubed over three. Now let's change the order. And then we're gonna subtract the integral of v, which is x cubed over three, times du, which is one over x dx. And then we can clean things up a little bit. All of this can be put over three. And then we can subtract the integral where we have x cubed over x, which is x squared. And this one third can be brought in front and we still have the dx. And now for the next step, there's nothing we can really do here. And same thing, we can bring down the constant multiple. And then we're gonna take the integral. Ultimately, we added one to the two and then divided by that. And then we don't wanna forget the plus c. In the denominator, this three times three can become nine and we can put a box around it. This is a great answer, but let's say it's a multiple choice test and this was not one of the answers. We can simplify this a little bit further to match what might be on a multiple choice test. We can give this the same denominator as this. So we'll multiply top and bottom by three. This three times three will give us nine and this three can be brought over. And now we can pull out a GCF. Both of these have an X cubed in the numerator and a nine in the denominator. So after we factor those things out, we're left with a three ln x. And then after we factor it out of this other term, we just have a one. And then we don't wanna forget the plus c. And here's another valid way to answer it. And this is a classic example for integration by parts. How exciting.